The normal Valentine's Day might include chocolates, flowers, maybe a card. Uh, we sent KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar out to Westport to find couples celebrating the holiday a little bit differently. We stopped in at about four tattoo parlors in Westport. All of them said they weren't as busy as they would normally be on a Friday evening, but the customers we did find were celebrating love in a very permanent way. Jim Anderson and his fiance don't have your typical love story, so they're not having a typical Valentine's Day. You ain't gonna forget this one. It's forever, for, for sure. sure. <laughs> the two got matching ink on their wrists. Hooked on each other to celebrate finding one another again after 20 years apart. Anderson is so confident in the relationship, he'd be willing to tattoo her name. You bet, I'm right on my face. I would tattoo about anything, but I'm certainly not the boss. The experts don't recommend that, though. That way I don't have to cover it up later and charge you triple. Eddie nice. Stefan can't count the times he's yeah. inked the name of a significant other on a person for the regret to sink in just days after. They're like, can you cover this up? I want to cover it up. And I'm like, you have to wait at least until it's healed before I can tattoo it again. He recommends reserving names for blood family. Like Lester Williamson getting his newest grandson's name and birthday. Grandkids will be my grandkids no matter what. If you must get a romantic tattoo, Stefan recommends a symbol or a matching design, like the anchors he and his wife got nearly 20 years ago. I got really lucky. We're two peas in a pod. Even living in his happily ever after, he will not get his wife's name. I've thought about it, getting it now that we've been together for so long, but I would just hate to jinx it. In Westport, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.